So what what can we possibly talk about today? Um, there it is. You guys can see it. Peter Schiff advises Bitcoin holders to swap their Bitcoin for his rare Ordinals collection about three days ago. Now, to the left of my screen, you all can see it, that that is Peter Schiff. He is the hater of Bitcoin. This is the biggest hater of Bitcoin known to man. He's been downplaying Bitcoin ever since it's been launched, trying to be a vocal person for gold. And as you can see from the recent price action in Bitcoin versus gold, it seems to me like the Bitcoin holders are going to run supreme over what he has to say in regards to his physical asset named gold. Now, why would he be trying to push his ordinal collection, though, when he's hating on Bitcoin? Because Ordinals is an NFT that is based off of the Bitcoin blockchain. But he's downplaying Bitcoin, but then turn around and wants to sell you his rare Ordinals collection. Is he trying to play on us? Is he trying to make you feel? Is he trying to throw egg in your face? Trying to make fun of you? Is that what he really trying to do with this Ordinals collection? Euro Pacific Asset Manager, Management Founder, and Gold Advocate Peter Schiff has urged Bitcoin investors to exchange their Bitcoin for his, quote, exclusive Golden Triumph Ordinals collection while labeling the crypto asset as overpriced. So he's trying to get you to sell your Bitcoin for his Ordinals collection. As Bitcoin is making all time highs, he wants you to get up off your Bitcoin and give it to him for his rare Ordinals collection. As if that's going to have more value than Bitcoin. Don't play into this. Don't sell your Bitcoin and give it to the man who's been downplaying Bitcoin, who's been hating on Bitcoin. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you give it to him? Because he's offering something that originally didn't have any value like Bitcoin. So he's going to take what he created that really doesn't have any use case, no value. It's just a mirror collection of what he thinks is valuable and wants to give it to you, sell it to you. For you to give your valuable Bitcoin to him. Make it make sense. Peter Schiff puts his Ordinals collection over Bitcoin. The Euro Pacific founder took to social media, Twitter, to encourage Bitcoin holders to consider switching their coins for a more profitable asset. Now, he's been saying that Bitcoin is going to crash to zero. But he wants to make you believe, make us believe that his Ordinals collection is going to be more valuable than Bitcoin drawing attention to his rare Golden Triumph Ordinals collection. In May 2023, Schiff unveiled the set, which includes the original artwork and a limited edition of digital reproductions, which are recorded on the Bitcoin blockchain. Here it is right here. This is the Ordinals collection right there. A hand holding up a gold bar. by Peter Schiff. One thing you can do with your overpriced Bitcoin is buy one of the six Golden Triumph Ordinals currently offered for sale. So there's only six. So there's your scarcity right there. If you think 21 million Bitcoin are scarce, there are only 50 of these babies. Is it 50 or one of six? Get ready, hollers. These bad boys are going to moon. He's playing. He's making fun of the cryptocurrency community. He's making fun of the younger generation who values Bitcoin more than they value that piece of gold that's in that man's hands. Understand and, and take notes of when people's making fun of you. Who would take this man on the left side of my screen seriously when he's trying to play in your face? He's using terminology that the younger generation uses. Hollers. Moon. He even got the diamond hands there as an emoji. Do you think his Twitter account was hacked? Or do you really think this is Peter Schiff writing this post? Then he goes on this tirade of tweets saying that one just sold, another sold, and then eventually all of them were sold, right? Somebody responded to his tweet Peter using Bitcoin as a medium exchange and unit of account. Fascinating behavior. Another tweet. Is Peter shilling Bitcoin? 
Another person responded, Twitter is useless. Buy my NFT on Bitcoin. That's pretty much what he's saying. He's saying to us that Bitcoin, the blockchain has no value, no use case. But then he goes and create an NFT collection off of the blockchain that he says is useless. Make it make sense. Adam Beck tweeted out, as Bitcoin demonetizes gold, we can use the gold bricks as shiny tableweights and doorstops. Take a look at gold ETF outflows versus Bitcoin ETF inflows. Nearly $1 billion yesterday into the U.S. Bitcoin ETFs. That's why he's leaning more towards Bitcoin. That's why Peter Schiff is creating NFTs off of the Bitcoin blockchain. Even the biggest hater in Bitcoin eventually will switch sides and jump over to the Bitcoin team. Because all of his gold bars that this man is holding won't turn more profit than Bitcoin will. It won't do it. Autism Capital tweeted out, OK, we're convinced at this point you hold Bitcoin and know exactly what's up and are just a con man. Wow. He putting Peter on blast and the man is conning people out of their Bitcoin. He's trying to get people to buy a physical asset called gold that's losing value, that there's more outflows going out of gold going into Bitcoin. But then he wants to shield you his minor ordinals NFT collection off of the blockchain that he says is useless and it's going to go to zero. Somebody else tweeted, Peter, you never cease to outgrit yourself. Yeah, he's a grifter. Bitcoin is useless. Buy my NFT on Bitcoin with Bitcoin. Now, this is pretty much where I'm at with this next tweet. They hacked this guy, right? That's what I'm thinking, because Peter and some of the terminology that was used on his tweets just doesn't seem like it'll be a language that he would say that he will input on his tweets it just doesn't make any sense so maybe someone did hack his account so that they can grift these nfts or maybe not can you trust a man looking like that who's been talking about gold constantly in and out that's the only thing that this man talks about how it was more precious than bitcoin but then turn around and starts these tweets over there on the right of my screen. Can you trust this man? All of these images of him going against Bitcoin. Saying that is this has no use case that it's going to go to zero. That of a, even on this highlight right on this title right here, Peter Swift warns a potential BTC crash with ETF approval. Like he's always throwing shade on Bitcoin. But one man i want you all to understand this one man cannot dictate what the market values apparently there's more people who is not on the side of peter schiff saying that bitcoin is baseless is has no value there's more people who think that it does because when you look at the chart for bitcoin here it is it is still there making all-time highs now let's go to gold Okay. Gold also is trending higher, but it's not making as much gains as Bitcoin is. All the hype is within the cryptocurrency space. All of the money, majority of the inflows is running into cryptocurrency. So let's not get it twisted. You already can see here off our price prediction that we're looking for Bitcoin to continue to trend to the upside. Our upper area it's right there around $80,000. We didn't change our price prediction. We're still looking for that market in Bitcoin to go higher. Nothing's changed. This right here is reflecting that this was a buying opportunity off of the two day chart. You guys can see the market came and bounced off of our buy zone. We identified that as a buy zone. You should have bought there within that zone because you'll definitely be higher today. Right here, if you'd have bought on the low of this buy zone, you're already up 16, almost 17%. The charts tell you what people value, not people like Peter Schiff. The chart, pay attention to the chart. So if you ever listen to anybody, always verify what they're saying with the asset off of a price chart. Because if it looks the way that they're talking, then maybe they have some legitimacy in what they're saying. But if they don't, then you take them 
at us as a lie as them trying to persuade you to think differently from what the market thinks all right so that's it go ahead and give me your thoughts about bitcoin i'm not going to change my price prediction right now because this market is still bullish look at this even on the weekly time frame massive indication of strength there on the week they were getting another indication that the market is still bullish in bitcoin as we continue to see these drastic moves high in price, always keep in the back of your mind that this is the cryptocurrency space. You will see a day to where the market completely goes down 25, 30 percent. Always had that as a thought in your mind so that you won't be caught off guard. Because this type of price action cannot be sustained. It's not going to go on forever. And at some point it will reach an apex, a top, and then the market will come back down. But just like I told you about this buy zone. How that was a buying opportunity on the next massive move down it's going to be another buying opportunity all right so go ahead and give me your thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different